gentleman who sat next to us on the plane was not friendly, was not happy to have to be sitting next to a baby, but he took the last available seat, which happened to be next to us. And uh, I kept saying, oh, I'm so sorry, and trying to be nice, and he was just like so rude. Oh, awful. Anyway, so it was kind of a rough flight, but we got Chloe to sleep finally, and it worked out. between sucking her thumb and using her pacifier, she just does both. Just waiting for my friend Marcella, Tia Sella, to come get us. Starting to 
to rain a little bit. It's not gonna rain on our parade though. Oh my God, okay, so see this behind us? Luckily they had an elevator on this side. The only way, the only way to get over was like that walkway, but it had like three flights of stairs or an elevator, but the elevator on our side was not working. So Ryan had to carry Chloe and I had to carry the stroller up three flights of stairs, full of groceries oh, in this altitude. I think I'm tired. Now we gotta get back to her apartment, so. Chloe, did we find our way back finally? You look tired, baby. train. Do you see it? Say choo choo. Chugga 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 choo choo. Heading to get some coffee at Union Station.
water. Where's Chloe? There she is! <laughs> Where's Chloe? There she is! Room number two. <laughs> Our other one didn't have a fridge and we need a fridge for Chloe's milk. So we asked to get moved. Here's our closet. Closet's a little bit smaller in this one, but everything else is bigger. We have a much bigger bathroom and hi. this one has a tub. So that'll be way better for Chloe. And uh, king bed. Here's a chair for her to rock her in. And everything else is pretty similar. Desk area, TV area, connecting room. Hi, Chloe! Unimpressed. So I feel like I have to switch rooms so frequently lately at hotels, it's kind of funny. But we got here and the room didn't have a fridge in it. It also didn't have a bathtub, which wasn't like a big deal, but the fridge was a big deal because um, we have Chloe's milk and we need a fridge to keep it in. So I went down to the, well, Ryan went down to the front desk and they were like, oh no, we don't have any rooms available like um, that have fridges. And so then um, he came up and told me, and I was like, mm, okay, I'm gonna try. So <laughs> I went down and talked to somebody else. And I was like, look, like we just really need a room that has a fridge in it so we can even wait and see if like somebody checks out and then switch rooms, like whatever works. But I've got a carton of milk that needs to be refrigerated. And he was like, we have medical fridges, but I don't think it'll fit. Let me double check, blah, blah, blah. And he checked, he's like, oh, we have a room available. We can move you up to the sixth floor. So we moved up and then, um, it has a bathtub too, which is super nice. So it actually ended up working out in both ways. So um, yeah, really happy with the new room. So I think it's gonna be really good. Dada had to go to work. So Chloe 
and I are heading down to get some dinner. Right, Chloe? The hotel restaurant opened at five, so we should be able to go in, get a table and get some food. Hopefully they have something yummy for Chloe to eat. Because sometimes she's being a little picky lately. Not me. What you reading? Ooh, good night, princess. Heading down to the Uber and figured this was the easier way to do it. And Carrie, Chloe, and... Ah! Oh, you think so too? What you gonna be about? Who's that in the camera? Who is that? Getting in the Uber and out of the Uber with all this stuff was actually pretty smooth. So we're at my friend's work, just waiting for her to um, bring me a um, the keys to her car. And then we're gonna borrow her car for the day. <gasps> yeah. And we're gonna go to Fort Collins. And Fort Collins is the town that Walt Disney um, based the design for um, his Main Street USA off of. So um, it's somewhere I've always wanted to go visit and somewhere that I know that Ryan wouldn't go with me for <laughs> that reason. <laughs> um, yeah, he's not very adventurous. So anyway, we're gonna see how it goes. for five hours. <laughs> In Chicago, it's four dollars to park for like one hour. <laughs> this is great.
super loud, but we're here um, in Fort Collins. And the reason that we came here is because this is where Harper Golf, um, who was an Imagineer with Walt Disney um, back in the early, early days before Disneyland or Disney World existed. And he grew up here in Fort Collins and was in love with his little main town, you know, Old Town Square area. And um, when Walt Disney said that he wanted to create a, you know, town square for Disneyland, um, which became Main Street USA, uh, he pulled out some books with some pictures of the town square where he grew up here in Fort Collins and um, he then decided to model the Main Street USA after this area. So I wanted to come see the mural that pays tribute to him. Not a lot of people know who Harper Golf is and um, I think he's really cool and pretty influential in, you know, if you know um, anything about the Imagineers and stuff like that and maybe a little bit nerdy but definitely someone who I think is pretty inspirational and pretty cool. So I'm gonna head across the street. You can kind of see it behind me a little bit but the sun is sort of glaring. I'll head over there and get some video and some pictures and you know hopefully Chloe stays asleep <laughs> for a little bit longer. really cool it's got like all these hidden things in the line work um, stuff representing Disney and stuff representing other things in Harper's Leg so it's really cool nerding out a little bit <laughs> I really had so much fun in Fort Collins. Like, honestly, it was beautiful. Um, even just walking around while Chloe was napping was like really cool. Um, the little old town square area was just sweet. Um, there was like little things, like kids were just jumping and playing in that splash pad. And there were so many cute little shops. Um, and it just was cool to be a part of, you know, a little bit of Disney history. Um, Cause that is something that, you know, is important to me. And, um, I really enjoy that. I mean, it was something different. It wasn't like being at Disney World or being, you know, um, at Disneyland or something, but it definitely had like a little bit of magic to it. Um, so yeah, I really enjoyed myself. We're just got in the car, got settled and we are headed back to Denver. We're going to pick up my girlfriend, um, from her work and grab some dinner with her. Um, and we'll see how the rest of the night goes. So anyway, See you guys uh, back in Denver.